Welcome to Mass Speed Market. Today we're gonna solve a really nice mass Olympiad problem. So let's talk about this. If we have a square root of one plus square root of one plus x, that's equal to cube root of x, and we know that x is a real number, we want to find x in this equation. So for the first step, I want to write cube root of x as a. So it means x will be equal a cube, and it means Instead of x, we can grow, uh, we can write a cube. So we have one plus square root of one plus a squared equal a, right? So if we use two power on the both side, on the left side we can write one plus square root of one plus a cube. That's equal a squared. If you move one to the right side. And of course, you can write square root of 1 plus a cube, that's equal a squared minus 1. So again, if you use a power, 1 plus a cube will be equal a squared minus 1 squared. And of course, if you, um, no, no, nothing else. And here, if you want to continue, you have to know some really nice points and I want to write them for you. If you have a cube plus b cube, for example, you can write it as a plus b times a squared plus b squared minus a times b. And of course, you know that if you have a squared minus b squared, you can write it as a minus b times a plus b. So it means uh, on the left side we have a cube plus one cube, right? So we can write it as a plus one times a squared plus one minus a. So that's equal on the right side we can write a minus one a plus one squared, right? So you can write it as a minus one squared times a plus one squared and of course you can see a plus one on the right side and one a plus one on the left side you can delete them but don't forget the one answer for this equation is a plus one equals zero and a is equal negative one so on the left side we have a squared plus one minus a on the right side, you can write a squared minus 2a plus 1. I Instead of a minus 1 squared, I write it this one times a plus 1. Right? So, if we multiply these two functions, what do we get? We get a cubed plus a squared. Multiply this one minus 2a squared minus 2a and the last one a plus 1. So if we look at the left side, you can draw, uh, you can see positive 1, so I can uh, remove them. And on the right side, we have a cube minus a squared right yeah uh minus a so again we can see negative a on the both sides so we can remove them and so it means if i move a squared to the right side we can write zero that's equal a squared minus two a squared so if i can uh factor a squared so multiply by a minus 2 that's equal 0 so here we have two situations the first one is a is equal 2 and the second one is a equals 0 so it means we have three answers for a one was equal a equals minus 1 a equals 2 and a equals 0 and don't forget a was equal to a square root of uh, sorry cube root of x so it means for this case x is equal 8 
and that's equal to this one for this case x is uh, equal to zero and for this one uh, square root of x is equal to negative one then x is equal to negative one so it means we have three solutions for our equation but don't forget to check them because that's very important uh, let me write at it again for you we had square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus x that was equal the cube root of x so if x is equal 0 then on the left side we can write um, square root of 2 on the right side we have 0 so that's not correct so it means x is not equal to 0 the second one I want to uh, put x is equal 8 uh, if x is equal 8 then on the left side we can write uh, 1 plus 1 square root of 9 that's equal on the right side we have cube root of 8 on the left side we can write 3 plus 1 square root of 4 is 2 and cube root of 8 is also equal to 2 so it means the first answer is x equals 8 and let me check the last one the last one is if x is equal negative 1 if, it's, uh, if that uh, equals to negative 1 on the left side we can write 1 plus 1 square root of 1 minus 1 and that's equal 1 on the right side we can write cube root of negative 1 that's equal negative 1 but of course you know that 1 is not equal to negative 1 so that's not correct and it means x can be equal to negative 1 and it means the final answer for this equation is x equals 8 if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching